So let's do an example where we're finding these direction cosines and direction angles. First, we'll define a vector in three dimensions as vector v being the vector 1, negative 4, 8. Now in order to get all of these things, first thing we'll need is the magnitude of v. And I believe I made this one so that the magnitude works out pretty nicely. So we'll take 1 squared plus negative 4 squared plus 8 squared which is going to be 1 plus 16 plus 64. Oh, nailed it. Square root of 81, which gives us 9. So, first thing that we get out of this is we get that the unit vector pointed in the appropriate direction would be the vector 1 ninth, negative 4 ninths, and 8 ninths by dividing our vector by the given magnitude. This is a unit vector. So for our direction cosines, we now have them. The cosine of alpha is going to be equal to 1 ninth. The cosine of beta is going to be equal to negative 4 ninths. And the cosine of gamma is going to be equal to 8 ninths. Those would be your direction cosines. For the direction angles, we will need some arc cosines. So we'll do both an exact form as well as an approximated form. So alpha will be the arc cosine of 1 ninth, and we'll get an approximation for that in just a moment. Beta will be the arc cosine of negative 4 ninths. I know that's going to be an obtuse angle due to the fact that we have a negative fraction. Gamma is going to be the arc cosine of 8 ninths. All three of these can be obtained from a graphing calculator, and that's exactly what I am going to do. I'll shift this over to the right a little bit so that you can see what I'm inputting. Our graphing calculator is still in degree mode from last time, so arc cosine of 1 ninth, given that it's pretty close to zero, I'm expecting something close to 90 degrees. Not too shabby. We'll round this one off to two decimal places like we did for the last one. For the next one, arc cosine of negative 4 ninths, I'm expecting about 120 degrees or so, 116.39, rounded at the second decimal place. And finally, the arc cosine of 8 ninths, probably pretty acute. That'll be 27.27 degrees, rounding at the second decimal point. So that's how you come up with direction cosines and direction angles for a given vector.